Morning, take over early with it on this beautiful Wednesday morning, man. It's hump day, man. We're trying to get you through your work week. We got a lot to talk about. If you think you are smarter than me, we'll give you the opportunity to display that in front of the world for your chance to get a $50 gas card with your name on it. That's right. Date Dilemma, your favorite part of your favorite morning show. We're going to hit y'all with that. Miss Shanika. Yes, sir. Know how you do. You already know. I got to tell you the biggest thing happening today, and we got to get inside this word on the streets news. And shout out to go hit y'all with the craze report. Speaking of craze, we got that girl Sukiyana gonna come up here and chill out with us today. Suki with the good Gucci shoes. Uh, yeah, that something said? like oh, that. Oh, it's Suki with the good Gucci bag. Yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah, how about that right now? So y'all make sure y'all stick around. It's gonna be a lit day this Wednesday. Psychic Wednesdays, that is. Make sure you stick around for more Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover brings you the biggest thing happening today. What's poppin'? Pop, poppin'? We are now live on your radio. Psychic Wednesday on y'all. That's right. It is a Wednesday, and that's what we do. Hey, Miss Shanika, I need you to hit these people with the biggest thing happening today, pimp. All right. Well, let's talk about it. Well, it seems that it was about to be a looming U.S. debt default after a, a, a nightmare that could have been. All right. Well, it seems like negotiations are really really happening between president joe biden and top congressional republican kevin mccarthy the white house didn't cancel the meeting all of the leaders decided it's probably in the best of our interest to let the staff meet again before we get back together i don't think there's enough progress for the leaders to get back together president joe biden and house speaker kevin mccarthy have so far failed to reach an agreement on how to handle the u.s debt ceiling I don't want to be in an economic nightmare, so I'm going to need them to figure it all the way out. But good news is that they are edging closer. All right. That is the biggest thing happening today. I am Miss Shanika. You guys stick around. Bounty Banks is going to take you around the streets in 90 seconds. And Shouty Shouty got that crazy report. Keep it right here with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Check the news. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. It is Psychic Wednesday. And my psychic abilities are telling me somebody from the streets going to be talking today. That's right. Sukiyana going to be joining us. But right now, I need my dog, Bunny Banks, to take you around the streets in 90 seconds. Bunny. Now, it looks like some defense congressional officials believe that the White House is laying the groundwork to halt plans to move U.S. Space Command's headquarters to Alabama, partially because of the state's restriction on the abortion law. Um, moving right along, the Piedmont Regional Law is disputing details of a jailbreak given by FBI agents last week while financial records reveal the facility struggled with employment over the last year. Elder Alfonso Marin Sotelo and Bruce Callahan escaped from the Piedmont Regional Jail in Farmville. Callahan was found three miles from the jail, while Marin Sotelo was found in Mexico. The jail superintendent says the inmates manipulated the locking mechanism on the rear door of the jail to escape 22 hours apart. Records unveiled by CBS 6 showed the jail was aware that some locks were failing months prior to the incident. The jail authority board denies that the locks they discussed replacing were in the same area where the inmates escaped. Mm. Well, I hope they caught those inmates. Moving right along, the trial for the YSL RICO case is at a slow crawl, but it looks like another defendant has been removed from the trial list. 
as it continues to drag on in court. Now the case is down to nine defendants. We spoke with Damon Blaylock's attorney today who says the judge severed him from the case after he got sick and couldn't appear in court. I told him exactly what happened and that he wanted further medical treatment and the judge basically ultimately just decided to sever him. Blaylock's attorney told us the state protested the motion but was no match for Judge Glanville. All right, we guys are going to keep you updated on the YSL case as it continues. That is Around the Streets with your girl, Bonnie Banks. we got that crazy report coming up next. You don't want to miss it. It's Young Jack and the Streets Morning Takeover. Good morning, y'all. It's your girl, Tamer Rivera. Got to stay tuned into your number one morning show, Young Jock and the Streets Morning Takeover. Yo, it's the craziest story you'll hear all morning. The crazy report is on right now. Shawty, shawty, run it down. Yeah, run it down is what we about to do, man. That's what this woman is doing, this 34-year-old woman. Okay. She done got a tattoo on her hand, a, a measuring stick on her hand to measure the potential penis size of mate. Man, oh. come on. Yes, man, she slit with it, man. Yeah, she shot her family and everybody when she revealed that the lines on the side of her hand was a measuring stick. It ain't got no numbers on it, y'all. It's just some lines all the way down to her forearm. And she said when she go to stroke the uh, stomach of the potential mate, she size his ass up. What? Yes, man, that is yeah. crazy. She said she trying to fulfill her life. Can you imagine, y'all? Nope. You know what I'm saying? She's laying there. <laughs> you lay there and she get ready to caress your stomach. Then she raise up and come back up and hold her hand up and say, It's definitely enough for me, dog. That's crazy. Like, I know a sprint <laughs> when I see one. And that's crazy. And you know I know crazy, but I'm crazy. It's crazy, no, it's crazy. I started with my name and with the crazy report. Yeah, I definitely went. I wouldn't know what to do. I'm like, what are you? Wait a uh, minute. Can you, can you refund my $4 cash out? <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Now let's get into these national days. All right, let's get into these national days, Shawty and Shawnika. Uh, mm-hmm. Today is World Stationary Day. Today but, is uh, Work From Home Day. If you throw a nut on the wall, uh-huh. it's National Walnut Day for my wow. wine drinkers, for my silver. Boy. What? I'm saying. Stop I mean, playing. Okay, corn. Yeah, uh, chin nuts. <laughs> what was uh, here? Today is actually <laughs> National Pinot Grigio Day. Today is National Cherry Cobbler Day. Mm. Uh, International Customer Support Day. So y'all people, look, when we calling y'all trying to return, so y'all quit acting like we got to wait 30 minutes on the phone. Uh, it's actually World Bacon Day. Shouts out to y'all. Today is National World Telecommunications Day. It's actually International Day Against Homophobia, Transphobia, and Biphobia. Okay. Oh, what that mean? It's National Day Against Homophobia. People that oh. are against homophobia. I'm not oh, homophobia. really? I'm yeah. not homophobic. I didn't know that, but we know now. Again. We got to get into these celebrity birthdays. Oh, wow. It's still tar season. Happy birthday to our very own, the beautiful Candy Burris. Hey. Happy birthday to the legend, OG Sugar Ray Leonard. Champ. Karuchi. Trans, it's your birthday, girl. Happy Karuchi. birthday to that boy, DJ Academics. Shouts out to my partner, representing the shy Chicago skin bone what it do happy birthday to that boy Tony Parker y'all may know him he's a former ball player let me just put that oh, out okay. there and actor Bear Bill me. Harper gotta say happy birthday to y'all y'all know what it is alright if you wanna get your name on the birthday list feel free to hit us at one 866 that's one 866 4562 we got something special for you baby keep it where you got it Young Jock in the streets morning take over it's about that time to wish happy birthday to all local celebrities. It's the birthday wish list with Young Jock in the streets morning takeover. I heard it's your birthday. That's right. You ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, hey, where my birthday crew? It's your birthday. Tell me where my birthday crew? It's your birthday. I want my birthday crew. It's your birthday. One more time with my birthday crew. It's your birthday. Hey, Ashley Pan. It's your birthday. Hey Curtis White. It's your birthday. Jessica Accord. It's your birthday. Hey Shad Rodriguez. It's your birthday. Hey Jordan Murray. It's your birthday. Hey Doris Bertrand. It's your birthday. Hey Ardell Dickerson. It's your birthday. What's up, Mark Travis? Let's go. Doc Rivers. Rivers coached the Sixers the last three seasons, leading them to 54 wins this season, but he failed to get Joel Embiid and the team past the second round of the playoffs. Boston Celtics bounced the Sixers from the playoffs. They in a Mother's Day meltdown in Game 7. Rivers said hey, that he expected to return. No, I'm sure he did. But after that, no, 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 DJ Swin. Uh, interesting enough, uh, that was an interview and when they asked Harden what his relationship was like with Doc, and he gave that real, real dry ass like, we good. 
You knew it was over. <laughs> you knew it was over. You, you knew yeah. it was over. And I'm like, he wasn't really rocking with him, man. And and Doc Rivers could never get him and Embiid really on the same page and could never get the best out of Embiid either. And that's so sad, man, because Doc Rivers, he's going to be a Hall of Famer, you know what I mean? But right. He just won't. He won't be with the ball, uh, with the uh, Philadelphia 76ers anymore. Into the demise of my Boston Celtics. Mm. Now, what's interesting? A lot of people are very, you know, when you hear someone loses their job, it's like, oh man, you sad. But he gets to close out with about a six. He has a guaranteed sixteen million dollars left on his uh, contract. Can't so, be man. man, you know what? Back in the day. When we had starter jackets, <laughs> it was a boy who thought he was all that with a 76ers jacket, and I had a Lakers jacket popping around school. Yeah. So ever since then, I didn't care about the 76ers. Wow. <laughs> 76ers had one of the hardest logos on the starter jacket. They though. did, and that, that's why that I was mad. Yeah. What you got coming up, Bishop Nigga? Coming up inside the Word on the Streets News, we got to talk Rick Ross and this car and bike show. We got to get into that. Also, Spice, your girl from Love & Hip Hop, is calling out Erica Mena. Yes, it is about to be spicy. Coming up inside the Word on the Streets News. Oh, don't worry. We got more. Plenty more. Yes. For Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Do you think it's a game? 660 with Hip Hop Gamer. It's Hip Hop Gamer. Xbox admits defeat against PlayStation. More after this. Gillette presents the Gillette Labs with Explodiating Bar. A razor designed to take the hassle out of your routine. With effortless shaving in one efficient stroke, the bar on the handle removes unseen dirt and debris that gets in the way of the blades. So nothing gets between you and a quick and easy shave. All with a lifetime warranty. Gillette, the best a man can get. Get yours today. But it's just the truth of the matter is that when you're third place in the console marketplace and the top two players are as strong as they are. Listen to more for the 660 and follow Hip Hop Gamer on all social platforms. At Charmin, we heard you shouldn't talk about going to the bathroom in public, so we decided to sing about it. Roll Charmin ultra strong when you drop in the beat. It cleans way less effort on your seat. Yeah, roll it. Drop it. Yeah, roll it. Yeah. Drop it. Charmin flows extra strong from the road. Get your butt hella clean while you're sitting on the bowl. Yeah, it's all you need for that bathroom groove. Get you in and out without nothing to prove. Charmin ultra strong cleans better so you can use less. Enjoy the go with Charmin. Dr. Rick here. Another sign you're becoming your parents is getting particular about details that don't matter. The craziest thing happened when we got tacos the other day. Was it Wednesday or Thursday we got tacos? I know it wasn't Tuesday because that's when I went to my hairdresser. Shoot, what day was it? See how we all lost interest there? Progressive can't help you from becoming your parents, but we can help you compare rates on home insurance with HomeQuote Explorer. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and third-party insurers. Comparison rates not available in all states or situations. Prices vary based on how you buy.
The mics are on and ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen. Word on the streets. She be bopping. I need more. Yeah. Word on the streets. Screaming bite like on a moped. Word on the streets. I get it popping like a blackhead. Word on the streets. Going down like Jock said. It's Young Jock in the streets morning takeover with Miss Shanika. Yes, sir. It is. Definitely psychic Wednesdays. It's, it's hump day. It's the thing moving fast, Miss Shanika. What it do? And it is. It is. All right. So let's talk <laughs> about this. Spice then went all the way in on Erica Mena. All right. Um, some of this is kind of hard to follow, but I'm going to lead you through it. So I don't want people to say I'm picking up for Safari because it has nothing to do with me picking up for Safari. I am just speaking facts to the face. And that caused the fiction and that's the problem because some girl fake and them don't want me to tell them the truth to them face. Erica, go look for your gynecologist. Infection and yam you out. You're full of syphilis. You have lymphogranuloma vulgaris. Girl, don't play with me. Go get some canistin. Remember, me tell you, every time me see you, you better be prepared for flip over the table because me is not the one for play with. I'm mean, another fake story and I'm mean, another fakeness. Everything about me is 100% real. And you, you're going to do this for get storyline, but remember, me tell you, say, the wrong story you pick up, baby. And the wrong story you want. It sounds like Erica Mena had tried her on set. Boy. From the looks of it. From, from the, the sounds of it. She said... I'm not pick. I'm not picking up for Safari. I don't care who he wants to sleep with. That ain't my um, mm-hmm. male genitalia. Mm-hmm. And then she said, "I will come flip the table over and get to you." Yeah. Nah, I, I heard past all. You must have had other stuff she said. I mean, she said she has. Was it syphilis? And she said something to the vulgar. And she needs oh, to go God. get some casting. I don't know what that is. I'm looking it up. How she know what it is? How she I don't know. She Maybe she a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> a friend of doctor, though. <laughs> well, one thing about it. Um, she's saying that the issue is the woman that Safari's been kicking it with. How do you pronounce her name? Amara. 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 Amara La Negra. Yeah. So I guess Erica Men is mad because they're friends. And then she was like, well, you were friends with other girls that I wasn't cool with. So, you can tell that the season is about to come on next month. Love you, Bob. Atlanta. Okay. And let's get into this right here. Rick Ross car and bike show was denied zoning in Fayetteville in Georgia for his car and bike show that's coming up. Uh, Lil Wayne was on the ticket and then Lil Wayne disappeared from the ticket and now he has Gucci Man a part of the scene and he's still saying that even though it was denied, he's still going to have his car and bike show. Yeah, because what's going to happen? Is he going to find him? He's going to make $2 million in his front yard. What y'all going to find me? $300? I just think that it's, it's so insensitive in just putting... <laughs> those people that have made a living and um and raised children in that community putting them in a really bad position to have to find somewhere else to stay for that weekend well i don't like it well just because you can do it don't mean you need to do it that is the word on the streets news i'm miss shanika follow me and miss shanika and follow us at streets morning takeover that is miss shanika you know it is it's psychic wednesday baby call us up right now we're gonna read you I'm talking about, like, we're going to tell you what's going on in your life. I can tell you if that pinky toe need to be shaved down tonight. We're going to talk about it. one 866 you in Again, that's one 866 Psychic Wednesdays. Call us up now. Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. You know. That's right. Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover, baby. It's Psychic Wednesdays. Days. I'm no professional psychic, but somebody, something in my heart of hearts tells me somebody lost money on that Lakers game last night. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I'm no I'm no psychic, but but something in my heart of hearts tells me that somebody gonna be called like, hey bro, I I, I had to take care of something for grandma for Mother's Day, but I got you on that little bit. I owe you, you know, I did think the burden was going to pull it off. one 866 you Y'all call us up right now. Miss Shanika. Yes, sir. Do you have any predictions on anything or anybody right now on this beautiful Psychic Wednesday? Uh, I would have never predicted that you were going to be on time to work today. 
Wow. Yeah, I must not be good at this. Something in my spirit <laughs> tells me you and Sukiyana will be sitting next to each other today. Oh. And it's going to get juicy. Oh, good one. Real juicy. Okay. Keep it locked. It's time for Psychic Wednesday. Make me feel weird. Yo, the Street's morning to take a Young Jock in the streets, morning, take over. Let's get into this, man. It is Psychic Wednesdays, good people. Uh, I am no psychic, but some tells me that everybody going to be singing uh, Coco Jones' I Really Need You song in their wedding. Right. The, I'm glad you got her one, man. Oh, yeah. And I'm also here to tell you that I'm no psychic, but something tells me that your hair came with that hat this morning, Miss Shani. It actually did not. Oh, I thought I was right. Okay. I mean, I was going to say ingenious. That was very ingenious of you. Very. One eight six six. Why you in? Well, where that hairline come from? Because uh, I'm in a movie. Don't do me. Mm. Don't do me. Because oh. when I looked in the when I looked in the mirror, I said, "Bro, I got one more time to try me on this." <laughs> <laughs> then I Facetimed you. You say, "Hey." They gonna have to work on that. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, one eight six six nine eight six four five six two. It's psychic Wednesdays. Call us up. I'm about to read your ass this morning. Keep it locked, young jock in the streets. Morning, take over. I'm going back in. I'm going back in. That's what I'm talking about. Young jock in the streets. Morning, take over. Good morning, Miss Shanika. Good morning. Uh, it is psychic Wednesdays. You're aware of this, right? Yeah. I am no psychic. But something tells me that sweater, that, that hoodie that you got on, mm-hmm. it's going to end up in a frame. <laughs> it's really classic. It That's really classic. It's really dope. Uh, but this morning, you know what? I've decided uh, we had three callers to call up. Each one of them said, Jock, we love when y'all do Psychic Wednesday, but why y'all don't ever do y'all selves? I said, hmm, good point. Hey, DJ Swift. <laughs> That's <laughs> a hell of an intro. <laughs> you already know. I am no psychic, but something tells me that you had that smile since you came out the womb. Good boy. You you don't stop smiling. Swin, hey, I seen two homeless people fighting downstairs. We got off work one day. I looked at Swin like, what we gonna do? He's just smiling. Like, I don't know. I think they got it. Like, Swin. Swin. Help these people. No. Hey, no. I ain't no psychic, but um, I feel like if our intern, Kadar, who just graduated from college, don't get that care right by face this early in the morning, <laughs> <laughs> he's going to end up on the floor. <laughs> hey, Kadar, hey, look, let me tell y'all, this man to come out the blue with the camera, we just sitting there having a conversation. You don't even know there's no cameras present, and you just, like, bro, what is you doing? I'm in the middle of telling a good story. I got everybody in the room stuck. And I look up and see the camera. I had to just let the whole show go. I had to, they're like, ooh, walk Cliff. Off, walk they're off, like, walk Cliff, off. I ain't going to be like, walk off, camera, camera. <laughs> it's a ninja with a camera. He moves in silence. Hey, man, y'all know it's a beautiful uh, Wednesday morning. Happy hump day. Hopefully we can continue to put a smile on your face all morning long, man. You know we up, we up, it's up. It's time for the date. Dilemma, good people. You know how we do that, right? Okay, you call us up at one eight six six Y U N G J O C. You tell us your date dilemma. We lay it out for the person that you calling for. And if we could get your dilemma, deliminated, you walk away $100 richer. It's that simple. The number again is one 866 That's a little plug on my name. You dig what I'm saying? But if you don't understand how to do that, you still got a rotary phone. It's one 866 All right? Keep it where you got it, baby. Day dilemma on the way. Young Jock in the streets morning. Take over. You are listening to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. And it's time for the date dilemma right now. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. If you got a dilemma, they got a dilemma, which means we got a dilemma. It's the date dilemma. Who's on the line this morning? Hey, my name is Diamond. Good morning, Diamond. How you doing, baby? Good morning. I'm doing okay. I'm just, I want you guys to mediate a situation for me. My baby daddy, James, and I had a disagreement. I just need to contact him because we got to get it together for the sake of our nine-year-old child. What's going on? So this is a kid you both share? Yes. We have a nine-year-old daughter together. Are you married? No, we're not married. Okay, so what's going (laughs) on, baby? Talk to me. What you need us to do? Well, I need you to get him on the phone so that him and I can finally talk because he's been avoiding me. I can't get him on the phone. He doesn't respond to my text. He's big mad. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to get him on the phone. What's his name again? James? Yes, his name is James. Okay, look, don't say nothing. We're going to get him on the line, and we'll find out what's going on, all right? 
Okay, thank you. Oh, this is interesting. I wonder how this is going to play out. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. This is your baby daddy. You know what I mean? This ain't just a homie. This this the homie. This the little homie. This the, the little homie daddy. Show. Yeah. Hello. Uh, good morning. My speed to James, please. Good me. What's going on? I'm trying to figure out. We can holler at you for a minute if you got a few minutes to talk, man, about something real, real, real important. Say it one more time. Uh, this is Miss Shanika, Shouty Shouty, and Young Jack of the Young Jack in the Streets Morning Takeover. So we are calling you. We have a segment on the show called Date Dilemma. I know it's probably catching you off guard early this morning. But look, you the topic of discussion. Do you have a few minutes to talk? I do. So listen, the young lady called us up and said she ain't talked to you in a minute. And uh, she's just trying to figure out what's going on. She said she just happened to be your baby mama. Man, why is y'all calling me about her, man? <laughs> Okay, listen, listen, Jane, I, I promise you, I ain't with none of the BS. I ain't on none of the BS. It's just a segment on our show, brother, and it helps people, you know what I'm saying, get their lives on track. Not saying yours ain't on track, not saying hers not on, but she called us up for a reason. Can you just give me any type of inclination of what y'all, what, what's possibly going on between you two and why you... I really want to know what's going on. Okay. You need to get her ratchet ass life in, in, in order. Oh. We have a nine-year-old daughter. Now, let help me out. Any of y'all got any daughters? I do. Okay. I, I, I actually do. So, check this out. I go on Instagram on my daughter's page. My daughter is twerking. Oh. Tongue out, head throw back, like, come on. Look at how, look at how um, her mama looked when I met her in the club. Mm. Come on, man. Then I asked her, why is my daughter twerk? And then she, man, it is no explanation for this. Oh, okay. Now, I mean, I, I totally get it. I mean, me, I'm a, I'm a girl dad. Like, I got more girls than anything, so I can definitely relate. I definitely feel you, my boy. And I definitely ain't trying to see my daughter out here twerking. It's just not happening. I feel what you're saying. You don't want the baby out there like Sukiyana exposed, right? I don't want my woman on the internet twerking. Why the hell would I want my daughter on the internet twerking? Have you told her this? Man, we had the discussion, and she want to keep making excuses, so it is nothing that I can do. All right, well, Jane, listen, she ain't been able to get in touch with you, and, and I think now that you let us know, I think she know, too, because she on, she on the phone, Jane. Is you serious, man? You really called the radio station put these fucking up in me? Yes, because you're not answering my phone calls. Regardless, you have a child that you have twerking on the internet. I have a child that I can't have no control over, so I don't know what to do at this point. I don't got nothing to say to you. Listen, she asked me, can she have an Instagram? And that is her way of freely expressing herself. Relax. I'm saying, what the hell do I buy her toys for? Baby girl, you, you saying that you feel like it's okay that your nine year old daughter is twerking on the ground? I'm not saying it's okay, but just the way James is going about the situation. Baby, baby girl, this is a man and his child, his seed, his, his daughter. daughter. A man don't even want to see his lady twerking like that. A lot, some don't. Let me say that. Some right. don't. I'm about to say he didn't have a problem with that when he met me in the club, like he told y'all. But we you all change. Yeah, you're not your daughter. We all change. We all evolve. We talking about a nine year old child. You want your daughter following in your footsteps? You want her to be a stripper picking up dollars every night off the floor for somebody who done threw it down now? Okay, I do not want my daughter to be a stripper, but I understand where you're coming from. I only created the Instagram page so she can express herself, but I'll remove it for the sake of my family. I can imagine what you're feeling, James. I'm going to just say this. Look, man, just because you and the mama don't fell out, don't, don't let it create that absence, man. Don't give up. Yeah, don't give up. So let me ask you a question. Is there any kind of way that you guys can kind of try to reconcile your differences so y'all can at least get on one accord for the sake of the child? Man, when the page go down, then then we can move on. And like, it, it's the end of that. Diamond. You know, trying to, I don't want her or nothing, so take the page down. Diamond. And you can move forward. All right, it's gone. It's gone. You gonna take it down? I'll take it down. Hey, look here, man. That's what I'm talking about. On behalf of one eight hundred Engine the Bethune Law Firm, we're gonna hook y'all up with a hundred dollars, man. I know y'all didn't even know this, but that's what's gonna happen. Maybe they can take that hundred dollars and go get some piano lessons because your homeschooling ain't working, girl. <laughs> that was the date dilemma with Young Jack in the streets morning takeover. I'm about to say it was spicy this morning, did it? It is a beautiful, beautiful Wednesday. What up? What up, though? Happy hello. Wednesday. Happy hello, Wednesday hello. to everyone. Yes, we love you guys. <laughs> Let's get into this day dilemma. All right. Now, uh, we got Diamond to call up here. She said that her baby daddy, James, ghosted her and isn't answering the phone. Of course, you know, uh, it happens. It happens. I'm not saying I condone it. I'm just saying it happens. But what made James ghost Diamond? 
Here's what happened. James said that Diamond allowed their child to twerk on the internet with her tongue out. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. If I see any one of my kids, my Am. daughters, Am, not any one of them, Am, Am one of them, spell it, mm-hmm. <laughs> twerking on IG, any social media platform with their tongue out, I'm coming for them and their mama. Yes. I'm coming. We got a real, we're going to have a real sit down. I'm going to be real with you. Now I ain't going to ghost nobody, but I'm definitely going to come see you. Yeah. I mean, you let her twerk on there with her tongue out. This thing, you know, she be a Hey, hey. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey. I hey. ain't know where you're going to go with it. Yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> I can't. That's the, that's, and that's the point. Damn, 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 James. Hey, man, we got to ask our listeners, man. What's your thoughts on this date dilemma? Um, That date dilemma was interesting. Like, I didn't know how that was going to play out either. So I came in on, like, the last, not, not the last part, but I didn't know the mother was a stripper. That part threw me off. So you let your nine-year-old baby daughter get an Instagram page and twerk because she sees her mama and she wants to emulate what her mama is doing, twerking with her tongue out. But as a mother, and you, you're doing that to make ends meet, that's what you want your daughter to do? Like, I get that she took it down, but why the hell you even let her get it? She's nine years old. What in the world is wrong with mothers these days? That is a mess. She's nine. She ain't even started freaking puberty yet. She just got down on spoiling herself. Why would you let her get an Instagram? I'm even touched by this, but I'm so glad she took it down. But I think these parents with these kids, if you twerking and stuff, y'all need to think about some of the things that y'all let your little children do, girls and boys, because you ain't doing nothing but making it hard for us as teachers out there to teach them because they're getting it at home. So what are we supposed to do when, when they come in my classroom? I know you know that's right. right. Thank you so right. much. Have a wonderful Have a day. Morning. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. What do you think about the date dilemma? What's going on, family? Yeah, hey, sometimes you hear a certain name and you know some BS about to come behind it. And when I heard that name Diamond, it was some BS that came right behind it. You know, I'm glad they had uh, worked it out, but the fact that she even tried to defend it was just crazy. Right. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Hey, I got a daughter. We do not want anything that gives a gateway to the pole. I know that's right. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Tell us what you think about the date dilemma. Good morning, y'all. Uh, I'm glad she agreed to take it down because, baby, that's a nine-year-old. There is plenty of other ways for a nine-year-old to express herself. If she like to draw, if she really like dance, she need to start her for dance class because uh, Instagram ain't neat. Kids are heavily influenced these days. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and the stuff that they see, the stuff that they see their friends doing, they want to do it. But she can definitely find her for some dance lessons or some dance classes if she like to freely express herself by dancing. I know that's right. Thank yep. you so much. Y'all talking in the streets Whoa. morning to take home. Hey man, why why is as we sit here talking, I pull my phone up. I'm on our live right now, Streets Morning Takeover page. Mm-hmm. And as we're talking about this day dilemma, Coyle Ray pops up in the thong, twerking with her tongue out. And somebody in the comments talking about pull it to the side. It, oh my god. They are. It's that's what's going on. Put it to the side. I just wanna know, are you smarter than young Jock? Did somebody beat me yesterday? I don't recall. Okay, all right. I I've been on the Ooh, I've been on a good little little sweep lately. Yeah, that shortage was over with. What shortage? Nothing. <laughs> now I stopped drinking. Oh wow, that's great, I job. stopped drinking. Look at you. And when I stopped drinking, I started caring more. Yeah, you look better. Man, go ahead on. You showed up to work on time. Shut up. one 866 Y U N G J O C. Again, the number's one 866 986 Uh are you smarter than Young Jack? It's on the way. Mm-hmm. Keep it like Young Jack in the streets more than take over. Who knows? How we get down, man. It's an honor to wake up each and every weekday morning to talk to our beloved listeners talking about you, man. Because if you tune in right now, then you know what it is, man. We always out here in these streets. Hey, man, I got the best team ever, man. Miss Shanika Shouter Shouter, man. We get yeah. busy out here. And this morning, we got a special guest. She talks about everything topical and off subject at the same time. <laughs> this young lady, you have seen her on reality TV platforms. You've seen her on every podcast that exists, even the ones that ain't even came out yet. Oh you may God. even know her as Suki with the good Gucci bag. Ladies and gentlemen, this morning, we got Suki out in the building. Yeah. yeah. Now, y'all already know, uh, ain't no telling what might be said on this show this morning, but it's okay because we're going to let it all ride sideways, all right? Suki, what up? 
Um, you know. No, I'm, no. Okay, you don't know. I mean, I'm just, I'm happy. I'm excited to be here. Suka, you gonna come here with your politically correct voice no, on? That's your indoor up. voice. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. I love it. What's <laughs> up, man? How you been? I'm, I'm really doing good right now. I'm excited. Like, you know, all my hard work is, you know, starting to like really show. So yeah, know. it is. I mean, you know, every time we look up, we talking about you on air. Yep. Uh, we're reading about you in the blog. Recently, I just seen you do something with Summer Walker. Yeah. Oh, tell me yeah. about what, that. Collab she's actually dropping her tape. Give us a rundown of what we just saw. It was the video. It was, it was three of y'all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The soft life. For me to sum it up, my experience was, you know, us becoming successful mm-hmm. and just like, you know, enjoying, you know, a luxury life and trying caviar and stuff like that. I saw that. <laughs> the, the caviar you was eating. Caviar. Yeah. Yeah. But it was disgusting. I yeah. believe. They said it tastes like, but it did not taste like. Well, actually, you said that. Oh, yeah, it didn't taste like that. That's usually the time they taste it. Yeah, it is. What happened? I mean, oh, wow. this Sukiyana, what you expect today? You can, <laughs> what y'all? Yeah, just go ahead, Shawty, because you got them questions. How you know it's good? I just, I do know. It's just, and the people oh, say God. that. Could you explain that process? The people say that I got some good cat. They not lying now. I got all these kids around this, and the cat is good, and I appreciate this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. What the heck? Uh, I was talking to my mama the other day, and we was watching something. My mama raw. You think you raw? <laughs> you think you raw? You have a yes, What's ma'am. Vicky. Vicky. Okay. So Vicky, aka Jock Mama, uh, was like, what, "What's up with this Suki child?" I said, "What you mean?" Because I was just trying to figure out why she just came out the blue. It's not like she's so far outside of the coach. So she said, "What's up with this Suki?" I've been, I've been seeing her a lot. I said, "You seen her where?" On the podcast. I said, "What you doing looking at podcast?" She thought, "Well, I need to be in the know." She says, "So again, what's up with her?" I said, "Suki, cool." Man, you know, Suki, she wants she she a story like mine from the hood, figured it out, made it happen. She said, I want to meet her. I was like, Y'all oh, gonna be fighting. Like to y'all gonna be fighting. No, we won't. No. You never know. Sometimes opposites are right. Is we opposite? No, y'all not. Opposite. Oh, so y'all, we just. I don't think your mouth raw them. For real? Yeah, no. Nah. So you the one ate my son. Oh, okay. What? All right. Now, All right. I, I, I love from? people like that. Cause Shawty can't keep running the band the because mail. that's Ooh. what that's what where, she got where, that from. That that's why she asked. That's and so so to in, get into the story. That's why Shawty said that. I said, Mom, you know that's the girl I told you that had uh <laughs> said <laughs> that thing this one time, and she was like, "Well, is it any truth in it?" I was like, "Mom, well, come on, you know me." She was like, "I know that's why I'm at. Is it any truth the in heck? it?" What the heck? Now what? <laughs> okay, so I said, I don't want to say it because it's so funny. And it's weird, like. Nah, it ain't weird. Let me tell you what happened. Yeah! I don't know if you know how to tell a story funny. We you, no, no, we, we want, want you to tell, tell it. We want to tell it. Something. You tell it. Tell it. You tell it. How it happened? No, how we met Suki? I think how we I met? need a shot for that. <laughs> I do need a shot. Give me a shot. I'm gonna tell it. So let me tell you how I met Suki, y'all. So I'm gonna tell the world if the world don't know. I really uh, would. Suki love was her this version. really nice. To herself, young you lady. Nice at this event, I said, "She. This is when I met okay. you. When I met her, this is the person I met. A nice young lady. Mm-hmm. But it was something in her eyes that said she'll go there. Mm-hmm. We was doing an audition for a show. Now, what she did, she didn't want to be right there in the midst of everybody. She was like, you know, I'm gonna sit over here up top. What happened to the show? Where is the show? The exactly. That's what I'm about to get on your it's ass. In the trash can. Yeah, cause mm-hmm. no. Nah, let me tell you. Let me tell you. So she sat there. And I came upstairs, and it was I was about done. I, I said that tastes like fried chicken with barbecue sauce on it, but because it was funny. But at the end of the day. You had us because you had us come to this club and all of us trying to get on TV and he's talking about oh pull up to the club and all y'all interact so we see how y'all interact. Suki, they had us come to the club so the club could be packed and we sitting here talking to each other and dancing like we finna be on some TV. So show. you thought it was welcome to scam level? So, yeah, what's the premise of the show? I told it you wasn't no was. show. Yes, it was. <laughs> Where the yes, show at? Right the show is what right, right there. Right there where you at. <laughs> so no. I said, young jock tastes like fried chicken and ketchup or barbecue sauce. And that's, I thought it was funny. It was. That is funny. But I was right. What the f- I, I don't know. I, ain't, I don't know. I don't know. The I was first thing that I heard was somebody said his booty tastes like chicken. She so, said that too. No, I know you know no, you know. No, what? I wasn't even back no, there. Wait, wait, I wasn't even ass back I there. Now y'all know y'all lie. You know you lie. <laughs> I was, well, well, it's I was, not about no, me we, lying. So. No, no, no. You know no, that is. No, Why would I even joke about eating? Well, I just started saying stuff well, like that I, I, at that's, this big age. Okay. I just tried it a little bit. You know, just going down a little bit. Don't act like you ain't never get your Also, this is a pick on Suki show? No, no, no. No, no, no. Your show is? No, no, no. no. Okay, so we uh, y'all ain't never apart. got to- like, well, Shawty, Shawty can't because okay. Shawty has hemorrhoids. <laughs> Do you? It's okay. It's okay. No, it's all right. I don't, I don't. You go down there. You can't go around. You, you got to look around for hemorrhoids. Oh, my God. No. 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 It's like, it's like chitlins on the go. What the f- 
Don't Love that ass song. song. Gotta uh, lead them older with the long song. Yeah. You know what? So after after all of that, we look up and Suki is this <laughs> new face. This new talent on this franchise, as the world may know, Love and Hip Hop. You know what? I'm going to flip it. Let's talk about this Casamigos song. Yes, let's get into it. Love the video. Thank you. Love the song. I think you got a hit on your hands for the summertime. Definitely a hit. Uh, tell us how you how this song came about. Um, I, I really just wanted to go uh, show, you know, versatility and go in a different direction with music. And, you know, I really wanted to be respected as a, a artist, a musician, and a writer. And when I came up with this track, I felt like Afro B would be the perfect one to make it make sense and get on there and do his thing. And now we have a hit. I need you to introduce to our listeners your single feature, that that, that guy, Afro B. Afro B. Suki Han, Afro B. We got a new record called Casamigo. And we're taking over the world. Make sure y'all stream it, y'all watch it, y'all listen to the radio station every morning. Casa amigos. Casa amigos. Casa amigos. Pour it in my cup. Pour it in my cup. Pour it, pour it in my cup. I want to drink the Casa amigos. Pour it in my cup. Pour it in my cup. Pour it, pour it in my cup. I want to drink the Casa amigos. I'm not human life. No, I really want you to stay the night. Cause I'm evil, like a ice. No one but the screw in your life. But my human life. No, I really want you to stay the night. Cause I'm evil, like a ice. No one but the screw in your life. Bad girl, how you me like it? Love it when you wind everything tight. I know you want it, got your thing right. We could do one um, to the sunrise. Bad girl, how you me like it? Love it when you wind everything tight. I know you want it, got your thing right. We could do one um, to the sunrise. Pour it in my cup. Pour it in my cup. Pour it, pour it in my cup. I want to drink the Casamigo. Pour it in my cup. Pour it in my cup. Now we're going to definitely get a chance to speak with uh, Afro B. If you're just tuning in, y'all's in the streets morning takeover. We're joined live this morning in the studio guest. Sukiyana with the good Gucciana. Gucci. That, that Gucci is Anna. a Gucci is a Gooch. Ooh. I have a Cooch. A you have a Gooch. No. You have a Gucci bag. Dang. I got an elephant that's trunk. No, that's not. We're not talking about the same thing. A Gooch is the thing that's under Gooch. the. I don't have. A, How oh, you well, don't have a Gooch? We call, a we, Gooch is that little no, thing. I call, no, we call that the Rick Rack. We call that the Rick Rack. Rick Rack. Rick Rack. But you know what she was talking I about. I did. I just had to mess with her because, you know, you ain't even coming to our house, Suki, and just think you're going to say the wildest things and we ain't going to say Yeah, y'all back. just as wild. When your, when your birthday? Well, hopefully one day. I'm a Scorpio on November 15th, baby. <laughs> Boy. Oh, yeah. Did, did, I'm a Scorpio. Right you don't? Shut the... Shut. 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 You ate some... <laughs> you probably licked some toes. No. You don't lick toes? Oh, no. You, you lick toes? Your, man, come on. Quit playing with me. Okay, yeah. Okay, so... I'm Mr. Robinson. Just call me Mr. Robinson for the rest of the interview, uh, Suki, with the good Gucci. Yeah, he ain't did nothing over there. I don't like that. I go to church every Sunday. Yeah, but she better let that inner freak out. I do. I do. No, you don't. Speak. You ain't licking no toes. Women sure. love our... We love our toes licked. Not all women. Yes, we do. No, I've, I've tried to suck some toes. Like, uh, 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 uh. What's I'm the like, biggest what? size feet that you lick? It ain't no big... I don't do big feet. What size is the size that you would prefer? Don't, do, don't you go down to me. I don't do no big You did lick some size pants. What's the size that you would that you that you would prefer? No, uh, a woman past an eight and a half nine is, is, is if she passed a ten as a woman, she passed a nine as a woman. <laughs> she really an eight as a man. Uh, yeah. she's going into nine. That's a big foot. That is, a and big I'm not foot. knocking any women with big feet because we all have. I got a big nose. You know, it's some women right now. They guys with big nose, but. I ain't doing no too, too big of a foot is too too much. I guess you got you got you got I mean, you got have, you got, got nice size, but you got big toe though. You got a no, nice I, big toe. No, I do got. Let me that's see your big toe. Let's see your big toe. Let me see if your toe look. is suckable. Yep. Oh, oh, yeah. they suckable, and I keep my feet up all the time. They suck your toe. You in the rhinestones in your mouth? I know. To get my feet done, rhinestones. Just in case anybody here want to pay for some toes, I get my toes done every two weeks. What's up, y'all? It's Suki with the Good Cat, and every day from six a.m. to ten a.m., I'm listening to the best damn morning show, Young Jock. And the streets morning takeover. Oh, don't worry, we got more. Plenty more. Yes. For young-
Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Are you smarter than Young Jock? Only with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Good morning, and thank you for calling Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Who's on the line and where are you calling from? Juicy. J-U-I-I-C-Y. Man, yo, you've been too juicy. Okay, Juicy. Who are you calling from, Juicy? Savannah. All right. All right. <laughs> Juicy, do you think that you are smarter than Young Jock? I do. All righty then. Let's just see. You have 10 seconds to answer each question. The first person to get all three questions correct will be the winner. And you guys cannot answer each other's questions. Are you ready to play? Yes, ma'am. You have to finish this song. Three, six, nine. Three, six, nine. Something, 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 something. Give it one more time. Get low. Get low. Get low. <laughs> All right. right. Young Jack, finish the song. Three, six, nine. Damn, she fine. Shout her on the soccer to me one more time. Get low. Get low. What's this? Who? What's the who? All yeah, right. You know that song. Young Jack, you are correct. Thank you. And this. Question is for you. Name one of Nicki Minaj's alter ego. Are you telling me? Yes. Oh, shoot. Roman? You are correct. But I want this lady to try harder because it's on her name. Okay, Juicy. What makes a square a square? Three. That is incorrect. Young Jock, what makes a square a square? He's just a lame man. No, a square it has four even sides. Four even sides. You are correct. I'm sorry, Juicy. You are not the winner. (laughs) Unfortunately, Young Jock is smarter than you. As a (laughs) consolation prize, do you have any shout outs? Mm -mm, I don't got no shout outs. Young Jock, you meet me in a trap. (laughs) Juice, I'm sorry, baby. I I really thought you were going to win this morning. Man, shouts out to Seaport River Street 912. You did what I'm trying to tell you, Phil. Mm-hmm. Thank you for playing. Shouts out to my cousin I'm down at Brunswick and all that like that right now. Are you smarter than Young Jock? Lit with it. Back at it. Young JLC, Miss Shanika. Shout out to Young Jock in the streets morning. Take over, man. Shouts out to my dog, Suki, on the checking in with us this morning. She just dropped a new single, Casamigos, featuring that boy Afro B. Now, it would be a disservice to the culture to have a guy who's established world renowned as uh, Afro B on the record and us not get a chance to talk to him because he's actually uh, in the building this morning. What's Afro up? B. What's up? What's up? What's up, man? London in the building. What's up, Brad Drang? Africa in the building. Yeah. The outside Atlanta. You know what, Afro B, you got a different look, but it fit right in. I Today tried to, I tried a little thing. You know? Yeah. How, how, did y'all come, how did y'all come across each other? Uh, so she reached out when uh, Joanna was popping in the US. Mm-hmm. So that was 2019. We kept in contact since and then that she was sent me the record. Huge, huge, yeah, Joanna was crazy. Huge this, they still play today. For people who may not understand the, the reason I introduced you like that the Joanna record how, how, how big did that record get as far as uh, chart wise or platinum status yeah so I think it went gold here mm-hmm. it went gold in France gold in the UK mm. it charted here as well mm-hmm. Um, it's still growing through this day it should be platinum soon I, I'm surprised it's not yeah. I actually thought it was it's independent oh big yeah it went, with a, it went with a major so when so, she called you, you just you was you was with it. Yeah, yeah. Cause I, I already follow her on the socials, loving hip hop. You follow her already? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did so you ever go on a DM? In the DM. Did you yeah. ever go on Suki DM? Did we? I can't remember. You DM him. I think she posted a video about Joanna, and then I just followed her since then. Were you ever crushing on Suki? Suki, then she's a beautiful woman. This is- it's a question. It's a question. <laughs> She's a beautiful like, woman. This is how we get this. This is how we get content. People want to know. So, yeah. Sue, what Mama D got a problem with you for? I, I absolutely don't know why. You know, uh, I, I feel like me and Mama D family. Yeah. But I saw his changes, and I, I just want to get like, what, where did it start? She just randomly brought me up in an interview. I, I had no clue because I actually am a big fan of her. You know, I grew up watching Love and Hip Hop. 
So I feel like in the, in, in the love and hip-hop world, like, she's a legend. She's somebody's mama. So, I, you know, I got respect for her. I'm sure it caught you off guard. Yeah, it caught me off guard because it's like, girl, who are you talking to? What you talking about? You don't even know. You know, you don't even know when you got people that actually look up to you. So it was weird. And, um, you know, me personally, I'm, I'm a mom, too, of three children, you know. And out of respect for Scrappy, I move a certain way with her because I know how I am yeah, with I people in the know. streets. I'm disrespectful. But I did check her. You said you said I was black and fat. Why would you say that we're the same complexion? Like, I don't have no. I feel like being black is beautiful. I got more melanin in my skin. That's worth more than diamonds and gold. That's something that you should be glorifying and praising and making everybody know that that's something that's beautiful. And me, it did hurt my feelings when she said I was fat. Because it's just like, you don't know how much we go through to try to fit this. This image. This image for TV, like, it's really hard. Like, I, y'all don't know how much I go through. I try to, you know, work out, diet, and everything. It's really hard. So, I, it did hurt my feelings to hear her say that. Thank you for being transparent in that moment. Because yeah. a lot of us, we, we so hardened. We callousize our emotions and just we harden up and don't want to just say, like, you to, to honestly say that you are a fan yeah. of Mama D's and to say that it hurts your feelings, I think that humanized you even more. Hey, it's okay, Sue. You know what? I just had this moment. I just had this moment yes, it's on, okay. on Friday. It's okay. We do, as the people, we have to do this. We have to cleanse ourselves. You know, we it's have okay, to. Sure. That out. Oh, Jesus. Did you have water? Let's not hide that from the camera. Yes. That, that hurt. You're human. God, I know, but guess what? Listen, listen. I know, I know. But guess what? We have these moments. Yes. I cry every day. Did you see my post while I cried the other day? <laughs> I see it. Let it out. I mean, it's okay. I think that's. that's, that's it's, not, I'm not, it's not a big deal. You know? It just it just is a lot of pressure. So I don't wanna be crying like I'm not a victim of anything, you know? But it don't it don't it don't matter. We don't have to necessarily be victims to cry. No, it's hard. Growing up It's hard. I, out here. We had, <laughs> like you don't know so much about yourself when you when you read stuff online, you don't know that you fat or you got a big dad yeah, like, or you like that's hard to read about. Well, it is. I will say this. Um I'm just I'm grateful that we shared this moment. And I think it's just it's normal, but it, it's not normal in our culture. But that's the natural thing that God gave us, and it's there for a reason. It's a function. Like, it's you got to do it. It's just like a car. Your car has to let out the exhaust for it to keep running. You have to get that exhaust out of you. And I just want to say I'm proud of you, Suki. Yeah. Keep doing what you're doing. I, you. I see you love your kids. Keep yeah. taking care of your kids. Keep Thank doing you. that. Yeah, take away. Take away. I take the whole family with me. I don't care. Hey. And you crying too. Damn, I didn't know you were crying. He started it off. No, I guess I got it. Got it. <laughs> I mean, I could feel when she was talking. Well, you cried enough on Sunday. I know, I did. <laughs> with, the, with the ugly face. And I gave the word the ugly face. That's a beautiful thing. Just know it's working for my dog, Sukiana, man. More music on the way. The new single, Casamigos, featuring my dog, Afro B. Y'all make sure y'all don't just uh, stream it. Go right. download it. Purchase it. Play yeah. it loud. Please. You are welcome to come back anytime you want to. Thank you. I don't care if you just want to tell us about your new car you just bought. <laughs> <laughs> You more than welcome your family, baby. Okay. Thank you, guys. And that is Afro B. Thank you again, my brother. Thank you. That man. Bless up. Bless up, man. Afro took a 72 hour flight to come here. Yeah, man. Straight from where we come to the streets. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, (laughs) Sukiana and Afro B. Make sure you stick around for more young jock in the streets wanting to take over. What's up, y'all? It's Suki with the Good Cat. And every day from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., I'm listening to the best damn morning show, Young Jock and the Streets Morning Takeover. It's Young Jock and the Streets Morning Takeover with Miss Shanika. That's right. We definitely got it. Gotta get into it. This word on the streets news. And, of course... Rick Ross, all right, this car and bike show that has been advertised for quite some time now. At first, Little Way was going to be in attendance, and that abruptly changed because I see no promotion of Little Wayne anymore. It's all about Rick Ross and then Gucci Man. Well, there was a big to do that went on in the news when residents were really concerned about this car and bike show being in their neighborhood. Fayette County leaders just denied rapper Rick Ross's request to host his annual car show at his mansion this less than three weeks before it was supposed to happen. His neighbors had been complaining about the large crowds. The county's planning and zoning commission is concerned about safety, noise, and traffic. We're told the rapper will now have to find a new location or cancel the car show altogether. But in the last few hours, the rapper posted on social media that he'll not cancel the show. Breaking news, breaking news. The Rick Ross car show June 3rd goes on. 
It must goes on. It's a private event on private property with VIPs and you're invited. Tickets still available online. It's going to be a beautiful event. Shout out to the beautiful city of Fayetteville. Oh, he was trying to be a smart ass when he said that. Shout out to the beautiful city of just because you can do something does not mean that you should. And although he has a lot of property, um, maybe he just needs to do like a smaller event. I do understand he wants to utilize his property, but not at the expense of neighbors that have been living there that that pay taxes that have raised their kids and don't want to be inconvenienced during that weekend. Anyway, um, let's talk about Angela Simmons. Hurry, yo, gotta go together real bad. That's what I'm talking about. Well, it seems that for his birthday, Angela Simmons surprised him with a Tesla. Now, usually we see the guys get gifting the girls these vehicles, but in this case, she gifted him. So I'm sure he's gotten her some wonderful gifts. I love to see this, though. Love to see it because this man real rich and this was definitely a rich guy's present. Anyway, um, definitely we got to get into this before I get up out of here. <sighs> 42 Doug. He is saying that. While he is incarcerated, he has to use nasty shower water and cook food in jail. He said that the the food is nasty. He said, let me update y'all on what's really going on. They're trying to keep me from going home. I was supposed to get October 14th and just talking about the conditions. But I'm just like, I mean... It's not a suite at the hotel. It's jail. So it's not going to be fun. The whole premise is for you to not come back. So hopefully he learns his lessons and he stopped getting in trouble. Okay. All right. That is the word on the streets news. I am Miss Shanika. You guys can follow me and Miss Shanika and follow us at Streets Morning Takeover. Exactly what she said. Follow us each and every week. They're more the same time, same place. It's time for the Love Doc Jock. It's on the way. one 866 yungjoc Again, that number is one 866 It does not have to just be relationship advice. Listen, man, I do believe in my heart of hearts that I'm a well-rounded individual. And I stand firm on that. And, and, and being a well-rounded individual, I know a few things about a few things. So try me. Let's just see where we at today, man. Somebody need that connection. Again, that number is one 866 Yeah, I'm Jock in the streets morning. Take over. It's about that time for the love doc jock. Help me help you help okay. me. Okay, come on. What's your problem? And this guy will either help or hinder your relationship. Who do I think I am? Why I tell people that? Either way, he's a man for the job. It's Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. You're on live with the love doc jock. How may I help you? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Calling from South Carolina. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How may I help you? I got a little situation I need a little help with. My little <laughs> friend, uh, older guy. uh uh-huh has a lot of kids who've been talking for three years. Uh-huh. Uh, we have a little situation where it's a family thing, whatever, and uh, I gave some advice to one of his daughters, and he felt like I shouldn't have did it. And I'm trying to say, okay, if we're going to be in a relationship, am I not to give advice to his kids or to stay in my lane? What was the advice, first and foremost? It was a financial situation. She's trying to get her credit straightened out. Technically, she wasn't supposed to run her credit, and she did. Why was she, she supposed to run her credit? Was she about to buy a house or something? Yeah. Ooh. She brought the check home or whatever. They get a free approval for a check. He tore the check up. I sat there, and I was like, you know what? It wasn't your check to tell. He got mad, and we just have not talked in three, probably three months now. Yeah, I'm going to tell, tell you what happens with that. See how y'all haven't talked in three months, and y'all can go y'all way? Y'all just a girlfriend and boyfriend. Y'all, it's, it's kind of like a disposable thought process. It would have probably been more responsible on your end to say, well, hold on, let me put some thought into it. And then you go talk to her father in confidentiality that he don't go back and blow up on her about this. But you talk, had that talk with him. And then you go back and talk to her and say, look, I went ahead and spoke with your No, father. no, 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 it, no. He tore the check up right there in front of us. I was just sitting there. She handed the check and said, Dad, look. He looked at it and he tore it up. I didn't say nothing. She wound up leaving the house before they got into it. See, what you and- confused me on, where this check came from? 
she got pre-approved and she was showing them that I got pre-approved for a check. And we already know that technically you're not supposed to do this. I was on his side to say she's not going to do what you tell her to do. We already know this. But at that point, he wasn't supposed to tell the check because they done ran the credit already. Correct. I mean, she already did it. All I said was to her, like, you know, it wasn't even your check to tap. So so what, what was the purpose of it? Well, I'm going to explain something to you. Let me tell you something. Sometimes when you think people are family, when they show you their actions, that lets you know where you stand to them. If he really considered you family, he ain't going to just walk away from you because of some, something like that. He not affected. He, it ain't, well, he can't buy a house unless he's so ready for her to get out of his damn house that now nah, she done ran her credit and all that. I mean, at the end of the day, he shouldn't have blown up on you like that. And it shouldn't have been, how long you say it? Three what? It's been three, three months. That's a long time. I can go take the $6,000 ring and go find it, right? Because we ain't get married now. So Yeah, pass the well, 90-day rule. Well, it, I mean, if he done walked away from you, you didn't get caught cheating. It's technically yours. It's a gift. Unless you were caught cheating, exactly. then you would have to return his property. But... You sound like you already know which way to go with this and how to resolve it on your own. But thank you for calling. I hope that a uh, little bit of advice helped you out there. That's the love, Dot Jock. Hey, what's up? It's Soraya. Every weekday from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., I'm listening to Young Jock and the Streets Morning Takeover. Make sure you keep it locked. It's time for Small Business Spotlight, giving back to the community with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. I want to get a shout out to the Library Lounge. Find us at www.booksubscription.com. We're unique because we're a young black library, young black bookstore. We're trying to reach everybody with these books. They say if you're trying to hide something, put it in a book. So come check us out. We're in Athens, Alabama. Uh, shout out to Erica Mivens, Fernando Malone, Library Lounge www.booksubscription.com is where you can find us. Young Jock in the streets morning takeover. I listen to him every single morning. Ooh, about to get up out of here on this beautiful Wednesday. Man, I got to tell you, I got probably one of the littest team I've seen in a while. When I say lit, but y'all crazy. I've been knowing both of y'all 20 plus years. Miss Shanika, shout it, shout it. Long. <laughs> No, I like long. I like long term. Shout out gonna call me FaceTime yesterday. I'm like, what? Shout out keep calling back to back. I'm on mm. set. So I said, I gotta answer the phone. Answer the phone. Shout out got seven older women. They're about, about all 71, mm-hmm. 76, 70 something. I say, what? He's talking about shout These ladies I was telling him about, they wanna do a reboot of you with the black vote version of the Golden Girls. I was just like, oh, okay. So the lady get the phone from Shawty and she talking to me. So who I need to send my information to and do you do I need to call you, your manager or your assistant? I'm like, just call Shawty. He gonna handle all my affairs for you this. You know what? I cannot. <laughs> so shouts out to Suki Hanna. Suki Hanna. Suki Hanna. Yes. Suki crazy, man. We had a moment today. It's all good. We human. Yes. 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 She spoke her truth, you know. Definitely yeah. uh, a classic interview. And I don't she want was to, very transparent, and we loved it. Yes, I don't want anybody to think that you know because a lot of people hear me talk. So, oh, so she started crying because she say, "Mama, did you hurt her feelings?" No, it was bigger than that. She was just saying that this was somebody that she respected and looked up to. So when she called heat from this person, it was just like, dang, it was challenging considering everything that she does to put into her craft to being who she is. And, and the pressures of yeah. this industry yeah. as a whole, people yes. telling you all kind of things about yourself online, you, you gotta and you way. fighting to believe those things. Shouts yeah. out to everybody from Delta that came out and party with me last night at Boogaloo, and shouts out to the teachers. I didn't know y'all come out like that on a Tuesday night. Well, I appreciate y'all. We love y'all. We'll catch you next go round. Catch you tomorrow on Anonymous Thursdays. Yeah. More with Young Jack in the streets, wanting to take over. Hi.